हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल स्पिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आई टी प्रो रेली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टू डेज वीडियो इज टेन थिंग्स यू मस्ट डू आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग दि फिडोरा थर्टी फाइव सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड To get the best of Fedora 35, do these things. Number one, update. The first thing that you should do after installing the Fedora 35 is to update it, as there are some packages, drivers, and other things that need to be updated for optimal system performance. If you skip this step, you might face problem while downloading and installing some software packages or repositories. Well in order to update your Fedora we need to run a command in our terminal so first of all i will open my terminal so here i will run a command and the command is sudo dnf update and just hit enter give it your password and again hit enter and now it will look for any update if there is any available into your system and then it will make this update it will take a little bit of time depending on how much time after you are doing the update into your system so here you can see the total download size for this update is 130 megabytes just press y and hit enter and it will update everything that is needed to be updated now we need to upgrade all those thing that got updated earlier and for that the command is sudo dnf upgrade and just hit enter and now it will upgrade all those thing that we have updated earlier and as you can see here again it ask us for 130 megabytes of size so just press y and hit enter so it will take a little bit of time and after that we are good to go number 2 enable rpm fusion in linux distributions some repositories come by default to download and install additional packages we can install and enable other repositories in the system we can use rpm fusion to download and install some packages that are not available in the official fedora repository i will enable two of the rpm fusion repositories one repository contains the free software and that you can install by running a command so this is the command for the free repository you can find this command in the description of this video as well after that just hit enter and here you can see it is enabling and installing the free repository of rpm the second repository contains a non free software and that you can install by running this command so this is the command i will also add this command in the description of this video so just hit enter and we are good to go number 3 enable other software repositories as we have just enabled the rpm fusion in the previous step Some software repositories are also available by default but are not enabled in Fedora so we need to enable those repositories to do so I'll open my software store so I will hit my super key and here it is so I will just open it from here click on this option button from here we have software repositories option I will just click on it it will take a little bit of time to load all the repositories so here we have all the available repositories as you can see enable those that you want to have in your fedora 35 and now you will be able to download and install a more significant number of software and packages as you have enabled more repositories as you can see flatpak is enabled by default then we have rpm packages if you go further down here we have the free and non free repository number 4 install fedi Fedi is a tool that allows you to tweak and customize your Fedora system very quickly in few clicks. With the help of this application, you can run a set of predefined system commands, and that command will install and configure a lot of stuff in Fedora. To install Fedi on the latest Fedora release, make sure that you have already enabled the RPM Fusion repositories in the previous step. After that, just run a simple command. and that command is sudo dnf install fedi-y and just hit enter 
It will download and install the Fedi into your Fedora 35. It will take a little bit of time, so we will wait for it and then I'll show you that what it is and how it works and what are the features that it offers. So as I have already installed the Fedi into my system, that is why it says nothing to do. And now I'll show you that how it looks and how it works. So here it is, I will just open it. Here we have different packages related to different apps that we can download and we can install into our Fedora. Then we have our development tools. Then we have different drivers. We can download them and install them. For example, we have NVIDIA GPU driver. And if you go further down, you will find a lot more stuff. Then here we have different themes. Then we can do different tweaks into our Fedora. And we have different utilities that we can use with the help of Fedi. So how powerful and how cool it is. Number five, install TLP. As Linux distributions consume a little bit more power, although we have the power profiling feature added in the Fedora 35, but still we should install a tool that is designed specially for this purpose. So I will install the TLP in my system for power management. To install it, I will run a command into my terminal and the command is sudo dnf install tlp space tlp dash r dw. Here it is asking for the confirmation to download and install the tlp into our system. So I will press y and hit enter and at the moment it is downloading and then it will install the tlp. It will take very little time because it only requires 1.5 megabytes of your space. After that, we need to enable this one into our Fedora so that it can start working and managing our power into the Fedora 35. So we are done with downloading and installing. Now to enable it, we will use a simple command and the command is sudo systemctl space enable space tlp and we just need to hit enter. So we have successfully enabled the TLP into our system. And now let's move on to the next one. Number six, install Steam. Who does not like to play games? Everyone does. Well, the good news is Fedora Software Center allows you to download some games, but to have access to advanced games that are not available in Fedora Software Center, like Dota 2, Minecraft, Counter-Strike, we can download Steam for that purpose. Here we have the games category in Fedora Software Center, but here we only have some small games. So I'll download Steam and to do so, we will just write a simple command and the command is sudo dnf install steam and just hit enter. I have already downloaded the Steam, so I'll just show you. I will just search for it and here you can see I have already downloaded it and I'm using it into my Fedora 35. Number seven, install Dropbox. To keep our data safe, we need to have a backup. To backup the data, we have different online repositories and Dropbox is one of them. We can use it online or on the desktop to directly place our data in its folder. And with the help of the internet, our data gets to the cloud on its own. So to download and install Dropbox in Fedora 35, I will use a simple command and the command is sudo dnf install dropbox space naughty less dash dropbox and after that just hit enter. I have already downloaded it as well. I will show you. So I will just search for it. Here you can see I am using it already. Number eight, install multimedia codecs. Some multimedia codecs are not available in Fedora 35 by default, but to run some audio and video formats, we need to install multimedia codecs and it will also help the system run smoothly in many other aspects. Fortunately, we can get those from the RPM Fusion repository. So this is the command to install the multimedia codecs into our Fedora 35. I will also add this command into the description of this video. So after that, just hit enter. It is asking for the confirmation because it needs almost 93 megabytes of size to install it. Press Y and hit enter and it will just do everything on its own. Number nine, install HTOP. We have a utility in Fedora named as TOP. 
to run this i will need to run a simple command in my terminal and the command is stop so i will just hit enter here we have different information from the system regarding resource usages here we have some processes running in the system at the moment then we have the users of those processes and here we have the percentage of resources used by each process and in the upper section we have some re information related to memory usage free memory and other things but if you notice all this information is in a monolithic way and for some users this might not be a good presentation of this information so what we can do here is install a utility called htop so to download it first of all we will need to get out of this so i will just press control z and now i will write a command to install htop and the command is sudo dnf install htop and just hit enter it will download and install the htop and it is a very lightweight utility so it will get download and installed very quickly and now if i write htop and hit enter here you can see we have the same information but now it is in more sophisticated way here we have cpu memory swappiness value and everything is more arranged and we have different colors depicting different information number 10 install gimp gimp is a small but compelling image manipulation software we can use this tool to edit our images and pictures to install it in fedora we need to run a command and the command is sudo dnf install space gimp and just hit enter i have already downloaded it as well so i'll just show you i will just search for it and here you can see it is already present and available into my system so we are done with all the 10 things that we must do in our fedora to get the best performance out of it but i feel some more things are significant and can help you have more out of your linux distribution so let's see what those are install genome tweak tools we have the genome 41 as the desktop environment in our fedora 35 we can install the genome tweak tool in it it will help us to customize the fedora and especially its interface as you can see we do not have the maximize and minimize button on to our terminal even if i right click on my top bar we do not have the minimize option well in order to have such customization option we should download and install genome tweak tool and the command for that is sudo dnf install genome dash tweak dash tool and just hit enter i have already downloaded it i will show you how it looks like and how it works so this is how it looks like from here we have different option the most important one with which i'm concerned is this one that says windows title bar i will just click on it and here we have title bar buttons that are maximize and minimize both of them are disabled so i'll just enable both of them and as you can see we have minimize and maximize button appeared on to our this application same is the case here with our terminal so download it and enjoy using it because it offers you a lot of customization option number 12 online accounts as you can see we have many online applications available in fedora 35 and we can access all of them from our system so from here just add your online accounts in the certain applications and you can access all of them with a single click number 13 night light many people face the problem of blue light while using the system especially at night but fortunately we have an option that we can use to have warmer colors into our system to enable it just open your setting as i have already done that and from here go to your display section in here we have an option that says night light so i'll just click on it it is disabled at the moment by default i will just enable it and if you want to have customized experience of this feature you can do so so from here you can set the time period in which you want to use this feature here we have the color temperature so you can increase it or decrease it so that's it and we are done with all the 10 things that you should do to get the best out of your fedora 35 we also had some bonus things at the end so that's it for the video please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we will see you with an another video